We've all heard the saying that knowledge fights fear. When I learned that my kidneys were failing, I tried to learn everything I could about peritoneal dialysis, but because I was under emotional stress, it was hard for that information to stick. I'm hoping that this video will be a resource to those trying to learn about peritoneal dialysis and about the different PD solution strengths. I'm gonna share it in a way that helped me to remember. And I'm also gonna share three physical signs that I use to help me decide which PD solution to use each time I did therapy. My dialysis supplies come from Baxter Health Corporation. Now Baxter uses a form of sugar called dextrose in their peritoneal dialysis solution. So I imagine this dextrose to be like a fly trap. So the sweeter and the stronger your bait is or your fly trap is, the more flies you're gonna catch which is the water and toxins that are in your blood. Now, that might not be the best example, but I'm very visual and that helps me to kind of picture what's happening and it sticks in my brain better. There are three percentages of dextrose and each have their own coordinating color. The solution with the lowest strength has 1.5% dextrose and its coordinating color is yellow. Yellow means low strength and we're just gonna catch a couple of flies. The solution in the middle has 2.5% dextrose and its coordinating color is green. Green means we're gonna catch more flies. The solution with the strongest strength has 4.25% dextrose and its coordinating color is red. Red means high strength and we're gonna catch all the flies. The yellow and the green solution are used most often. These solutions are interchangeable, so you can mix and match for whatever your need is when you perform therapy. The red solution, which is high strength, is used less often. Because of its high percentage of dextrose, it's a little bit harder on the peritoneal membrane. And if you're doing therapy every day or every night, you shouldn't have to use the red. There are three physical indicators that will help you know which fluid to use. The first one is weight. So I weighed myself every morning because I did therapy overnight. And if my weight jumped up by three pounds or more for no reason, then I knew that I needed to use a stronger percentage of dextrose so that I could pull off more water and fluid from my body. Now, if I weighed myself and my weight had dropped down by three pounds or more for no reason, then I knew I had used too strong percentage of dextrose and had pulled off too much fluid. The second one is edema. Now that should show up as weight when you weigh yourself, but it also has some physical signs. So that will be the swelling around your ankles and feet and legs in your fingers. And if you're feeling shortness of breath or just some pressure on your chest, and that could mean that you need to pull out more fluid from your body. The third physical indicator is dehydration. I did therapy overnight, so in the next day, if my mouth felt dry and I was really thirsty, then that was a sign that I had pulled off too much fluid. You can also get headaches from being dehydrated. You can feel dizzy and your skin can feel dry. When you receive your shipment of peritoneal dialysis supplies, not only is the percentage of dextrose and the size of bags written on the box, but they're also taped with the percentage of dextrose coordinating color. Right, so you can see here, we have a box of yellows. Here's a box of green, which is the regular strength. And here's a box with the red. Now I'm going to show you what a bag looks like. I'm gonna start with this one. It's a manual. Here, you can see that it is a 2.5% dextrose and its coordinating color is green. So let's check the rubber seal to see if it's green. And here you can see that this is a green. The next bag, I actually opened it from its outer um, sealing bag. I'm stuck. All right, again, this is a manual bag. You can see right here, we've got 1.5% dextrose. So this should be a yellow. You can see right here on its rubber seal, it is yellow. So you're not going to accidentally have a red and thinking it's a yellow or a green because every time you pull off this rubber seal to be able to start therapy, you're gonna see what color it is. The last bag I'm gonna show you is from the Cycler and it is a lot bigger of a bag. Oof, this is heavy. All right, you can see here 
that this is a 1.5% dextrose and it should have a yellow seal. You can see right here, it's yellow. When you first start doing peritoneal dialysis, you will have help and support from a clinic. Now the clinic nurse will train you and educate you on how to do peritoneal dialysis. She'll also help you do your first order and help you know which fluids will be best for you. So you don't need to worry about this. You, you won't be on your own. Doing peritoneal dialysis and choosing which fluid to use will become easier and simpler the more you do it. It'll become a habit, just like your daily and your nightly routine of self-care, of brushing your teeth, putting your sunscreen on in the morning, and your night cream and lotion at night. Thank you for watching.